So a lot of y'all may know that I have a particular gripe with pre-registration rewards or when the sponsored creators say, click the link in my description and get 50K looty points. Because nobody knows what that shit means, but Ark Knights is a special case. First of all, if you haven't pre-registered for Ark Knights, I highly recommend that you do. Uh, when this game was put out for pre-registration, um, it got over a million pre-registrations in about an hour, which is pretty hilarious. It's so much more than they even asked for. It doesn't even have the proper tracker for it. Uh, but yeah, it's pretty damn crazy how popular this game is going to be uh, globally as well as already is in China. Now, the pre-registration awards already are fine enough. Like, nobody knows what this shit means. If you ever played Ark Knights, you obviously don't know what the 30,000 Lungmen dollars. You don't know what that means. You don't know what that equates to. You don't know the currency of that shit. But Ark Knights is a special kind of weird where they are literally giving the power of players who have never played their game to pick legit one of four five stars. Yeah, that's going to cause somebody a goddamn panic attack, okay? Five stars is extremely rare. That's one off from the top rarity, and these units are great. So picking which one is best for you is very important. And we're going to talk about that, and we're going to analyze that shit, okay? But first, let me just kind of give y'all a heads up on what all this shit means and how much it's equal to, okay? So, first thing, how much is 30,000 long men dollars? Do I need to be careful with that shit? No. When you've played this game for like maybe a couple days, maybe a week, 30,000 lung men dollars, that's like half an hour's worth of grinding for currency, okay? So this shit, don't worry about it. Spend it all you like. Next thing, head hunting permits. You get three of them. What is a head hunting permit? It's just a single pull. Consider that a single gotcha from any other game so you get three summons whenever you decide to commit to your pre-registration rewards. Segue into another thing that I get asked all the time. If I re-roll, will I lose my pre-registration rewards? Now, for every other game that I've played, no, you're not going to lose them. It's not like if you pre-register, then you get the rewards. It's no, because this many people pre-registered, then everybody gets these rewards when they log in. If that is incorrect, check the pinned comment the day of re-rolling if you're nervous. And uh, if I've updated that information, then it's different. But from what I am understanding, as from every other game is done... It doesn't matter what email you signed up for it. As long as you are in the game within X amount of days of the release of the game, everybody will get the same pre-registration reward. So don't worry about that shit. Next up is the recruitment permit. There's this, uh, there's a system in this game called um, you just recruit. Uh, this is the currency that you use in order to recruit. You have a thing going like every nine hours um, to get a three, four, five, or six star unit sometimes. You just use that shit for each time you go to recruit. Um, you don't really have to be too stingy with this shit. Uh, the next thing, the expedited plan, this is what you can use um, since it takes nine hours if you cap it uh, to get the highest chance of getting a three, four, five, or six star. Um, that can just skip all the weight and you can just get the unit right there and then. Um, once again, not really that big of a deal. Now, next up, next up. Okay, let's talk about Savage, okay? So she is a guard. Now, she's a five star as well. They're giving you, they're giving everybody a five star guard character, Savage. Uh, and she's really cute. Now, this is going to bait a lot of players. She is a fine unit. She's not like crazy good. She's not like crazy bad. She's okay. She is she is fine. Um, yeah, so don't go hyper investing in a savage because some people might think she's crazy broken because you got it from pre-registration reward. She's fine, um, but that's pretty much it, okay? She's pretty good, but don't dump all your resources into her. She's just a AOE uh, splash damage guard. Now, this is a one that's a little bit back and forth depending on your play style so you're gonna get uh eight or originite prime however the fuck you want to say i call them eight yellow cubes because you know i don't feel like saying originite um and this is where it's gonna differ if you're a whale use those uh yellow cubes for anything that you want if you're a free-to-play player save them because then you can use those to buy skins and they're very 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 hard to come across um without spending a little bit so save those um that way you can get some cool skins with those rather than just getting uh refills on your energy or for dumping them for gotcha currency just hold on to those uh and use those on skins uh next thing why is the game giving me a dead bunny tech tone well they're giving you a dead bunny uh to put into your base you can decorate the, um, there's like these little rooms that you put all your units into to raise the morale after they do their duty for X amount of hours. Uh, once they do a duty, uh, their morale, oh, kids don't laugh at the duty, Jesus Christ. Moving on. 
You put them in this room and they regain the morale um, after they have done their jobs. After they've done their jobs, and that will help them uh, regen their morale faster. It's just a cute little decorative piece. It's not really a big deal. And it's a cool thing to commemorate that you were here um, for one of the first players on the global servers by having this permanent item that will go away after a while, I assume. I don't think pre-registration rewards last forever, so definitely get in sooner rather than later. Now for the most important thing, gotcha currency. <laughs> just use that to do a temple. Easy peasy. Okay, or don't, or hold on to it. This is just, just your gotcha currency. I'm gonna use it for a temple, okay? For the uh, for the dummy pool, the earlier one, because later they're gonna get more expensive, but the first one will cost 3,800, so this is pretty much begging you to do the temple. All right, now for the thing that people actually wanna know, why they actually came in this video, six minutes in. <laughs> Uh, the operators, and we have four of them. Okay, so the operators' names are, and I've done some research into this, just for y'all's uh, for y'all's benefit. Got you, buddy. Uh, we have Project Red, which is this girl. We have Praminix, which is this girl. We have Silence, which is this girl. And then we have Liskarm, right here. So all four of them are different types, okay? And that's very important to notice, okay? And now I don't want to say what type they are. I will say afterwards. But okay, screw it. I'll do it right now. So Praminix is a support unit. Silence is a healer unit. Um, Liskarm is a defender, a tank, and then Project Red is like a specialist. Um, so the thing that I would recommend for you to do is to go to aship.com, okay? And then you're going to kind of look at the units that you like, okay? And then whatever role that you don't see any character that fits your aesthetic or fits your play style, perhaps take one of these and sub them into your team. Now, I'm going to give you my recommendation for who I'm going to pick and why. So first of all, let's talk about um, Project Red. Now she's great. The really cool thing about Project Red is, is that she has a very, very, very short redeployment time. What that means is that you can put her in, you can use her for whatever you want to, get rid of her, get half your points back, put her in again. The, the average redeployment time is 70 seconds. Project Red's redeployment time is 18 seconds. As you can see, that's pretty damn fast. So you can use her for like a beater stall unit. She does some pretty good damage too. And she also does some stuns. So you can definitely use her to, to kind of like uh, alleviate pressure from the waves and waves and waves of enemies coming in um, by just dropping her in there, let her do her shit, taking her out, putting her back in, let her die, come back in, put her in. You just bounce around the stage. It is a very non-static type of unit to use. So if you want a delayer, a disruptor of sorts, uh, use Project Red. Or if you want the character that looks the best, Big Project Red. Okay, she's she looks fucking awesome. Well, let's be real. She looks great. Uh, next unit I want to talk about is Silence. So Silence is pretty much... she. First of all, she is a great healer. She is a great unit. Um, the majority... Sorry, all of these units are great. These are all, in my opinion, like top tier. They're, they're awesome. All these units are awesome. So you do want to make sure you know what you're getting into before you pick this. But Silence is just a... She's just a, she's just a medic. She heals. She can summon more drones to heal. And they'll explode after 10 seconds. Um, she'll also accelerate every uh, every other medic that you have on the battlefield. So if you do need heals, this is the girl to bring. She heals really, really, really fast. And she summons robots. That's cool as shit. But yeah, main role, she's just a healer. Next up, we're talking about Liskarm. So pretty much she's a, uh, a brain dead meat bag who's going to get hit. She's going to get beat up a lot. Uh, <laughs> uh, she is cool because she does have the ability that a not a lot of, not a lot of, other, sorry, not a lot of other defenders kind of have a damage option. They kind of just get beat up and stall, and that's about it. And while Liskarm does stall, she does have um, an AOE stun. She also packs quite the punch. She can actually deal a pretty good amount of damage to AOE units. So if you want like kind of like an AOE stall defender, uh, pick Liskarm. She's actually quite good as well. Uh, one of the best defenders, I believe. And now for what I will be picking is Praminix. And oh my God, I was not aware of how much I connected with the unit, but her whole kit is so cool. Pretty much, this is what Praminix does. Everyone around her, once again, just to clarify, Praminix, this girl, everyone around her becomes a weak ass bitch. And that is so cool. Because if anybody gets near her, they lose like a big ass chunk of their, uh, well, they take more magic damage and they also take physical damage. That could also be seen as reduce their uh, magical resistance, reduce their physical resistance, which is super cool. It's like Nasus's W from League of Legends. Like, the, there's like withering people away and she doesn't have to do uh, shit other than that. Other than that, she'll peck at them uh, with some magic damage. And uh, yeah, I mean, she's just dope. 
she's just really cool so the reason why that's so universal is because you put her anywhere where you need damage and she'll deal damage but also make everybody else deal more damage and wanting to deal more damage is a pretty universal thing but once again i know that probably sounds like i'm hyping it up a lot but i'm excited because praminix is what i want in a unit so you figure out what you want in your units but i want to give you a brief explanation of what they are so just to go over it again uh healer you got a tank you got a supporter by making everybody else weak, the enemies, obviously. And then you have a disruptor uh, sort of unit. Uh, and the one who also looks the coolest. So, uh, yeah. That's going to do it for this one, y'all. Um, now, the pre-registration bonuses are extremely generous. But uh, I got to admit, making your player base choose which five-star they want, God, that's a lot of stress. Um, so, once again, you know, a ship is going to be in the description. Uh, also, if you need to do a reroll guide, I'll put that in the pinned comment um, in case you're going to do that to get some free six stars and all that shit. And then if you are gonna, if you need to pre-register as well, I'll put that in the description as well. Hey, right, regardless, I just wanted to make a quick video about this shit because ain't nobody know what this shit means before they play the fucking game because that's not how games work. You have to learn the lingo. This shit is not universal. Just a quick heads up for all my boys. Anyway, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Hope you enjoyed the video. I've been Tech Tone. Y'all been great. Hope you're all having a damn good one. And as always, peace.